Hey there, this is Keith at Custom Works, and we're gonna go over today how to order one of our custom panels with speed hut gauges, and we're gonna walk you kind of through the process. Um, here's one of our speed hut panels. Um, it's got a textured black finish. It's nice, it's really durable. It's got a cutout here for the wiper switch and the headlight, uh, stock mounting locations. Um, one of the things that we do kind of, you know, suggest doing is actually drilling a hole here and a hole here and screwing long you need a long screw that's probably about two inches long and screw into the dash where the original dash cluster was and what that'll do is that'll actually help bring the dash up uh, support the dash underneath the panel because sometimes the aftermarket dashes are made out of kind of a kind of a not a very rigid kind of a floppy material uh, these are the gauges we're going to be using today these are the revolution gauges uh, that's generally what we use. This is a uh, attack with a recall and uh, shift lights and all kinds of cool stuff on it. This is a GPS speedometer. It's got the turn signals and a high beam indicator in it. Uh, these are four and a half inch. That's what we use. Uh, here's the side gauges, two and a sixteenth. And these are all just your standard uh, water, volts, oil, fuel. And uh, so another thing that we do is we have you go to the Speed Hut website and you know you go on the website and create basically kind of what you want and then what we have you do is do like a screenshot um, and you can build these on speedhut.com's web website uh, basically you just pick your gauges um, you build them and then uh, they kind of give you a, a really nice representation of what they're going to look like and you can see what they look like uh, in the day and also at night um, so you build your gauges you pick out all the features that you want, um, you put your, your package together, and then what you need to do is either, either, you can save it, kind of print it as a PDF, which saves it to a file, and email that to me, or you can just screenshot it and get those to me, so then we have all the specifics, um, as you can see here, of what the gauges are, and that way when they show up, they match. Anyways, um, we'll put this one together for you, and we'll show you how we do it. So we're installing the gauges into the panel. Uh, as you can see, these gauges are really cool. The bezels on them aren't plastic, they're actually billet. They can come in different, a couple of different styles. They also come in black um, and polished. This is, this is the, I believe it's the Legacy Silver. Um, it's pretty cool looking. Also notice one thing is these things are threaded and they have like a nut that goes on the back. And I'll show you this, how this all works is, uh, Stick the gauge through the panel. Then you actually have a, a nut on there. And these just thread in place until they're tight and uh, get there eventually. So these, these, these just go together really easy. Um, everything's all in there, everything's all assembled. And if you'll notice on all these things, all the gauges have connectors on them and there's a power cable that connects into each one and they all just daisy chain into each other. Whereas if you're using an auto meter, you gotta loop everything and put connectors and wires and all kinds of stuff. So this stuff comes um, it's nice, clean, they go together really well. These are just a really thought out, well thought out product, um, a premium quality. Like I said, uh, I don't know if all the components are made in America, but these things are assembled in Salt Lake City. Um, they're made to order and they have great customer service. They back their product. We rarely have any issues with them. And uh, we'll get this thing wired up and show you what that looks like. All right, so we've got the panel all wired up. So what we provide for you, and one of the things I'll show you here too, is, is the, the gauges use a, a low voltage backlight. And so they have a transformer inside and they actually have a dimmer switch that we actually mount to the panel. So we'll flip the panel over, it's all wired. So basically what you're gonna do to install it is you've got 
four sending units that you're gonna uh, have, actually three or two of the sending units, the oil and the water um, are going to be on the car. Uh, and then the, the fuel uh, is going to go to, uh, you're gonna tap into the tan wires on your uh, fuel sending unit. Got attack output. So these are gonna go directly to things on your engine. Um, these gauges come with sending units. One of the things we can get for you is the adapters that go, if you have an LS, they adapt the eighth inch pipe to whatever the LS, uh, the 16 or 18 millimeter threads are on those. Um, everything's pretty neat on the back. One of the things we'll show you is uh, there really isn't much room for the, for the wiper switch. So what we do is on the wiper switches, we actually use a really heavy duty 3M, a double sided uh, adhesive. And what you'll do is you'll actually gonna need to cut one of the tabs, metal tabs off of your existing headlight switch or your wiper switch. And it's gonna go right in here. And basically it'll have the switch that pokes through and you just need to make sure that it's got full travel uh, in this opening. This opening is the same size as the factory one. So you just need to kind of center it in here. It fits really good. This stuff holds like nobody's business. Um, you'll, there's times we've had to take them apart and we actually broke the switch taking it apart. Your headlight switch goes in just like your factory one. Goes through the back, got a nut on the front. You're good to go. So one of the services that we offer um, is to pre-wire these things. And so what we do is we wire it to a disconnect plug. So We'll give you a labeled uh, connector plug, comes with a fuse for the power, and you're gonna wire in your two turn signals, your headlight switch, the dash lighting, a key hot, and a battery hot. And that's what you're gonna wire into the chassis wiring of your vehicle to operate these gauges. And if you need to remove the gauges, there's no cutting or discon really disconnecting of anything. Um, you're just gonna have a plug uh, each one of these sending units will have a, a corresponding plug. They unplug. Um, one of the cool things about this setup is that we, we like to use uh, as a feature is the, the GPS speedometer. And the GPS speedometer comes with this little magnetic deal. And we'll stick it up on the corner of the dash uh, next to the A pillar between the the A pillar and, and the dash will run a wire uh, right to this gauge panel and it just kind of screws in. Um, so if you need to remove the panel, it's, it's pretty easy, just a couple of connections and uh, installs in the factory location. Um, we'll put some stuff, uh, information in here as far as part numbers and different stuff that we use, um, how to you know basically initiate your order if you want to put one of these together for us. Um, we do also offer these in the carbon fiber panel um, and we can with the carbon fiber panel do some cus more custom stuff um, we can we can because they're actually blank panels that we make we can cut holes in different locations uh, whereas this piece is, is more of a standard piece we, we have them laser cut and we have a special jig to bend them um, we do have these in blank panels that are unpowder coated. Um, so if you do want to do something custom, um, we can still do that. And you know, it's just going to take a little bit more lead time, but we can actually have them powder coated once we modify them to whatever you want. Um, there's a, you know, a little extra cost as far as cutting out all the custom holes and stuff like that. And also one of the things that we can do on these panels is we can actually add a, a fifth small gauge right here. There is only room for one. Uh, unfortunately, we can't put two over here, um, but we, we, we do that a lot. Um, maybe we'll include some pictures in this video of some of the other custom configurations that we've done. But uh, it's a great piece. Uh, they work really well. Uh, the way these things are backlit, they're more like a modern car's gauge. Uh, they're really bright, and you can adjust the brightness with this uh, dimmer switch over here. Um, and the, con uh, the configurations, um, are almost endless. I mean, you've got, I think, four or five different bezels um, and a multitude of, of different uh, uh, gauge face options. They actually have one that, in, in the day, it's white with black numbers, and when you turn the headlights on, it's black with white numbers, and how they do that, it's magic. So, anyways, it's a great product, and we like to put these together for you, and, you know, realistically, uh, looking at this one here, We've got the invoice here. 
Uh, depending on if these things are on, on sale or not, uh, every once in a while Speed has a sale. We will honor the sale price on these um, if they're currently running a sale. Um, you know, these gauges usually are, are somewhere in the 850 to 950 range for the, for the gauges. Uh, the panel's 100 bucks. Um, it's about 100 to $110 to assemble and we'll pre-wire everything for you. Um, and, you know, generally speaking, you know, we're, you know, you're probably $1,100 out the door uh, for one of these panels. And, you know, compared to like a Dakota Digital, I think those are somewhere like eight or eight fifty, uh, and then you're limited to the stock bezel. Um, and the gauges are kind of tiny, and they're they're really not very visible. Um, this is custom and really good quality. Uh, the speedometer uh, has a, a, a zero to sixty a time, a quarter mile time set up, where you can actually it has accelerometers and it can calculate that stuff. Uh, all the gauges have warning lights. These ones have warning lights on the Revolution style gauges. They have recalls. Um, so they have, there's a lot of special features built into these gauges uh, that you just don't really see uh, in other aftermarket gauges. And for that reason, you know, they're really a great value for not a whole lot more than just a set of just standard auto meter gauges. So if you have any questions, please give, give us a call or email us and uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you.